Welcome to Aiken This Week. I'm Emory Langston. We are so fortunate to celebrate such a rich equine uh, culture in our community year-round, but the month of March is really when we highlight our heritage of horses and everything that's equine in our city of Aiken. And we're so fortunate today to be here at the Aiken Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame and Museum with Lisa Hall, who is the museum coordinator and newly penned author of Aiken Thoroughbred Racing Champions that will be uh, out in April. Yes. So that is wonderful, Lisa, and I can't wait to talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, but we love coming to the Racing Hall of Fame. We love having you. And the month of March, Lisa, you've got so many wonderful things yes. going on, as always. Um, so we want to talk about that today and uh, let folks know what, what they can come here and enjoy. Yeah. And so I know you have a program that's actually going to start out the gate on March 1st, and it's a really unique program. Yeah, yeah it's, it was really interesting find for me when I was doing research for my book. I came across a lot of cartoons in newspaper archives, and a lot of them in the 40s, 50s, and 60s had to do with our, some of our horses, such as Blue Peter and K-Pod and Gallaret and uh, uh, up into the 70s with Lamb Chop. And it's, it's a really interesting art form. A lot of newspapers don't use cartoon editors anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we've entered the digital age. Um, everything can be sent over the, you know, the web. And to have this kind of artwork, it just doesn't really happen that much anymore. So we were glad to highlight it and even more glad to see that some of our horses were highlighted and some people who used to live here, such as Tommy Hitchcock and Pete Bostwick, they also were immortalized. So it's very neat, very neat um, uh, exhibit. It is, and it, the, in the artwork, when I was looking at it, it is, it is a different, it is a true form. Um, and, and just to read them, they're so very mm -hmm. clever. Mm -hmm. um, but what a, what a true testament to a, an age. And um, your exhibit's going to run March 1st through the 10th. Correct. So we hope everybody will come and, and, and see the, the cartoons uh, that are on the, the wall here at the museum. So another fun opportunity that you're going to have is the Briar mm -hmm. Children's uh, Fun Day or Fun Day for Children. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit about what that's going to be on March 4th. Well, it'll be from 10 to 12, and um, Briar has a fun day every year, and Briar is the top manufacturer for model horses, okay. especially if you're a little girl, and I'm sure some little boys collected Briar horses, and uh, they do this fun day every year, and I thought, well, we've never done one in Aiken. Let's do one. Um, even our very own Kelso, who trained here, had his own briar horse. He's the only Aiken horse to ever be immortalized as a briar horse. But they make so many different models and, and different types, whether it's race horse or, uh, you know, western horse or whatever. It'll be a lot of fun. We're encouraging kids if they have their own briar horses or model horses, any, any brand, to come and show and tell with other kids. We're giving away briar horse kits, a little gooseneck trailer with a truck. We have stuffed animals. All of that's going to be given free. It'll all be free, but we'll do drawings every 15 minutes. It's for kids ages 12 and under with a parent. Um, free. Come on in. Come on. Just have fun. That's Come all on. we we just want you in the museum. Want you have a good time. Absolutely. And showing off your horse. And showing off your horse. Yeah. So March 5th, that's going to be a very busy weekend. March 5th, then you have the um, Polo Life Lecture and Book Signing. We do. Adam Snow is coming, and he's a 10 goal polo player, which is the highest level you can reach. And he lives here in Aiken uh, with his wife, Shelly, and they both have written a book called Polo Life. And it is a very good book. He's been traveling and she's been traveling all over the country and they've been giving lectures and book signings all over the country. So they're gonna present a lecture here at the Hall of Fame about their book. They'll be available for questions. It's a free event. Um, we, there will be copies of the book if, if someone is interested in buying it or if they've already got one and they wanna bring it to have it autographed, we encourage them to do so. But it'll be very uh, interesting. A lot of people ask, well, why Polo? This is a thoroughbred racing museum. A lot of thoroughbreds who, for whatever reason, don't make it in the world of racing, become polo ponies. Oh. Um, the name ponies is kind of a misnomer, <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of retired thoroughbreds as well. So for a lot of uh, those kind of horses, polo is a second 
career life for them. Sure. So it is very relevant to what we're doing here at the Hall of Fame. We hope people will come out. They do need to register for that. There's lim okay. limited seating. Sure. And they can call the Odell Week Center at 6427631 to register for that. Okay. And what time is that event going to happen? It starts at uh, 1.30. And it's about an hour, hour and a half long. Well, that is truly fascinating. I did not know that about mm -hmm. our, our polo ponies um, having being possible thoroughbreds yeah. who have a, have a second life. So I'm sure that that will be a fascinating uh, lecture series uh, to attend and, and just yeah. a fun time. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. So then we have uh, March 14th through the 16th. And this mm -hmm. is, I think, is just a, such a neat thing. Mm -hmm. It's Thoroughbred 101. Right. And, you know, as an Aikenite, that is something that I, I, anybody can take full advantage of that mm -hmm. because I don't know if you can ever get enough one-on-one. -on -one. You, you can't. <laughs> we we kind of named it Thoroughbred 101, kind of like when you go into college right. and your very basic classes. Yeah. Um, it is going to be on the 14th and the 16th, starts at 1030. And it's an educational program put on by Barry Doss, who is a horseman who retired here to Aiken. He's had a couple of horses training out at the Aiken training track. Um, first day, the Tuesday, it will be more concentrating on um, how you buy a horse, how you run a farm, a horse confirmation. And then the second uh, uh, part of that will be more about, okay, a day of racing. What goes on really from mm -hmm. the time, you know, they wake up in the morning, get the horse ready to go out to the track, to run, to what they do after. So it's very informative. It, it, like you said, it's for people who may already know a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's people maybe just have moved here and they want to sure. learn. There's people here who's been here all their whole life and they know nothing. Right. So this is perfect. And it's another free event that we give um, at the museum to help educate the public sure. uh, about our, you know, our main equine industry here. Sure, that's very important. Now, do people need to register for that program as well? They do. There is limited seating. Sure. We're a small museum, so mm -hmm. if they could call the Week Center, um, said the, the number a little bit earlier, but right. ask them to call the Week Center and sign up. Sure, sure. Well, and then that's going to take us to uh, one of the, the, I think is the, the coolest program of the year, and that's Breakfast at the Gallops. Yes, Breakfast at the Gallops is great. We're in our 11th year. Um, it'll be on March the 17th. Mm -hmm. It's from 8 to 10. Now it starts at 8. Uh, for your ticket, it's $25 at the gate or 20 in advance. That is a fundraiser for our museum. Mm -hmm. It's the main fundraiser. Uh, and what we'll do is you get you get out there, you get a nice uh, breakfast, biscuit breakfast with all the fixings. You get to watch horses train. There'll be trainers out there that you can ask questions. And we have a very special guest this year uh, named David Donk. And he is a trainer who w worked for Woody Stevens in the 80s. He helped train 49er, who was one of our Hall of Fame horses. Aww. So he is coming for the first time to breakfast at the Gallops uh, to give a talk and... Uh, um, you know, you can ask them questions, you can meet them, you know, it's all a very kind of um, relaxed atmosphere. Sure. Another thing we're doing is we're going to have a trivia contest this year. Um, Susie Haslip, who's on my advisory board, mm -hmm. is coming up with tr trivia questions about our horses and a lot of neat prizes to be given away. So we hope people will, will come out and, and have that. It's just another fun sure. addition. Sure. Well, I mean, I can't think of a better... Uh, you're getting ready to go to breakfast at the Gallup, so please come to all these other events. You might mm -hmm. learn a little trivia. That's right. Um, and, and so you're, you're ready to go for that morning yep. on the 17th, which is a truly special morning, and you really get to see some amazing, amazing things. So you do. That's, that's a lot of fun. And then I think the kind of the culmination of the year on mm -hmm. March 19th is going to be the Trained Horse of the Year ceremony. Absolutely. Uh, we'll start that at 2. And uh, it's Aiken Trained Horse of the Year, which is Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners, Carolina. Sec uh, she is the second filly in our uh, Aiken Trained Horse of the Year award. And a uh, very unique company. She's won it twice in a row. Uh, Quality Road won twice in a row. Palace Malice won tw yeah. twice in a row. And now Carolina, who was a beautiful, beautiful filly. Her racing career is over. Her career as a broodmare has begun, and she's in Japan. Oh, my. <laughs> so uh, she's uh, going to uh, be an international broodmare, but a beautiful horse. And uh, we'll have an exhibit on her in the Hall of Fame, and we'll also have an exhibit about some of our other uh, Aiken Train Horses of the Year. It's a free event. 
come, enjoy. It'll be out in the courtyard, and we'd love to see everybody here. It's a, it's a great program. And take the time to come early and, and go through our museum and look at all our, our permanent exhibits sure. while you're here. It's great. Lisa, I'm just amazed at the collections, the vast collections that you have of um, so many wonderful artifacts mm -hmm. in, in the horse world, our thoroughbred yes. world. So yes. um, it's a real treat for folks to be able to come out and see. And all of your programs are, um, for the most part, are free. I know yeah. that we have the fundraiser with Breakfast at the Gallops, right. but to be able to come and, and enjoy the programs you have mm -hmm. here at the, the museum, we just can't encourage folks to, yeah. to come enough. And we don't charge an admission. We run off donations. So, um, and plus, you know, when we do Breakfast at the Gallops, so... Uh, we, we want people to come in uh, and, and learn and learn and enjoy and, you know, learn what Aiken's about. One day there might be a little girl or a little boy comes right. through here and they may end up taking my job after I retire. <laughs> That's okay. Well, before we um, finish talking today, I, I just think that this is the neatest thing in the world. And I want to talk <laughs> just for a minute about your book. Yeah. I know that uh, this is your passion. Yes. It has been for a very, very long time. And to have written this book, and I know 100% of the proceeds are going mm -hmm. to go to the Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame and Museum. Yeah. Talk about that a little bit for us. Well, it's been a labor of love to do this book. Um, the History Press has been asking me for several years to do it, but until I retired from full-time work, I really didn't have the time to do mm -hmm. it. Um, so they got a hold of me again. I was like, yeah, this is perfect time and let's do it. Um, you know, 40 national champions. And what we focus on, or what I focused on in the book, was their career during the time that they were named national champions. Mm -hmm. um, so it took about three and a half months to get everything done, the research, the uh, the photos and everything, luckily I had most of it. But I decided a long time ago that if I ever wrote a book, I would give my part of the proceeds and donate it to the museum. Uh, I think it's important to give back to our community. This is a way I can do that. Um, it's not about making money for me. Um, and it's not about honoring me or anything else. It's about our horses sure. and helping the museum. And I hope people will, will order them. They're 20 $3.75. I'm working on book signings now, um, and I'll have some dates up probably in the next week on our Facebook page, fans of the Aiken Racing Hall of Fame. If people will go there or go to our website, you know, they'll find out the dates. They can come out and get a copy, and I'll be glad to autograph it for them. Well, uh, and, and that, that alone is a, is a treat in itself to have, mm -hmm. and Lisa, anybody who knows you knows that that mm -hmm. is just such a genuine passion that just comes out of every inch of you. Yeah, I love them. So uh, we are just very tickled that that is um, a new title that you have as penned <laughs> author um, and just such a wealth of information here at the Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame and Museum. Yeah. So we encourage everybody to come out during the month of March mm -hmm. just to visit the museum, participate in the wonderful programs, call the Week Center to register for the lecture series that will be going on and just come by and say hi to Lisa mm -hmm. uh, and see all the wonderful things that she has here at the Hall of Fame. And we hope to see you and we thank you for joining us for Aiken this week and we'll see you next time. <music>